Good Monday. I'm Malia. Welcome to Monday Morning Jolt. Let's get started. With us today is uh, Troy, and Troy is a producer, mm -hmm. right? And I know it's not just a producer, you do a lot of stuff. So could you explain to us what you do? Yeah, sure. I am a producer for ResFX Productions, uh, mm -hmm. but my job entails a lot of different things. Um, writing uh, for commercial scripts and stuff like that, and uh, movie scripts, mm -hmm. and independent film stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also do the music directing for us, and also a lot of the acting. Since oh, we have, yeah. uh, it's a small company, so we have to do a lot of different things. Is it because of your good looks, or like? Uh, I think so. Okay. I, I would be a uh, supporting actor. I think, <laughs> okay. uh, not really lead role potential. I don't but know. I have to say, in most of your commercials, you look like the creepy guy, but you are not. Yes, a creepy person. yes. I am often. It's easy for me to look creepy. I guess so. It's a natural yeah. role yeah. for me to fit into. So that's what you play. The creepy yes, guy. <laughs> act what you know. I guess. <laughs> right. I'm very good at people. Yeah. And crazy too, that's another crazy too. Okay. consistent <laughs> role that I play. That's great. Hey Troy, can you tell us uh, why Mondays are great for you? Mondays are great for me because they signify this a new start every week. Um, I always feel like it's easier for me to get on task on a Monday, like to set goals and stuff like that. And it's always kind of a start over for yeah. me. Like if I didn't get something done last week, well there's always next week. And yeah. So it's a good re refreshing start. What do you do to kickstart your Monday? Um, I'm a big to-do list guy. <laughs> I like to try to make to-do lists. They often don't get done all the way. I always, I often have stuff from my last to-do list to do on my new to-do list, but I try to make it shorter each week um, and just try to reassess what's most important at that given time. Like with with what we do, we do a lot of yeah. different things, so we have to try to constantly remember. Okay, well, what's really important this week and what's yeah. So, uh, so Troy, like you work with a lot of people mm -hmm. on a daily basis, right? Yes. What is what is one thing that you notice that you can advise on people to say like, hey, this is what you're doing. You should you should change it or you should correct it. Um, I guess the most generic advice I could give would mm -hmm. be to try to do what you're passionate about because yeah. I think that. Um, and, and it doesn't have to be something you know exciting or whatever. Anything that you're passionate about, like playing the creepy guy. Yes, <laughs> I'm very, I'm very passionate about being a creepy. Guy, as you can tell, um, with this stash here. I was trying to look as creepy as possible. I can. Um, but I think that I read somewhere that passion is the language of the soul. So if you're doing something that you really enjoy and can work that into your daily routine, that uh, it's a little bit more rewarding and stuff. Like it's easy to get bogged down with. Um, the trivial stuff of yeah. day to day. So, finding something that you enjoy doing and trying to devote as much attention to that as you can would be, I, I guess, the best advice I could give to any artist because, mm -hmm. or not even in, in, anyone in general, really, mm -hmm. um, because it's, I think you find yourself when you are doing the stuff that you love the mm -hmm. most, and oftentimes you find the people that you want to associate with when you're doing the things that you really enjoy. Mm -hmm. And it's, that's been the best advice for my life, I guess, like doing the things that I want to do has propelled me into the next step and mm -hmm. just kind of keeping faith that if you do what you love eventually, mm -hmm. you know, a, a path will present itself yeah. to you. Yeah. So do you have an adage by which you live your life by? Um, you know, there seemed like a lot of that in with what you were just saying. Yeah, but I, <laughs> I think that if, if there was uh, an adage or uh, yeah. it would be just to try to be the you that you want to be. Um, oftentimes, like, I find myself doing things that would be someone that I don't want to be. Like, um, I, it's kind of overused, but there's the whole love yeah. and fear thing, like, choosing. And I, I, I shouldn't say overused because I think there's a lot of truth in it, but it's just, you know, it's, it's nothing really new. But any time you're acting out of fear in your mind, then you're, to me, that's not the me that I want to be. Like, yeah. if you can choose you know, a higher choice or the, the you that you want to be, then oftentimes it'll, you know, you won't have the same consequences as if you're doing something that, mm -hmm. you know, you, sense, yeah. mm -hmm. you'd be fearful of or angry, then it creates a new bad circumstance for you later yeah. on to have oh, to yeah. deal with. Yeah. So it's kind of like you don't leave ends and then you just move, you just get it passed and then you get to the next level. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So if, if you were to have a superpower, what would that be? <laughs> um. Not be the creepy guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to, 
to, to not be creepy would be its own superpower. Um, I think that flight, if I, if I could choose any superpower, it would probably be flight because I, I've often, for a long time now, I've had dreams about flying and mm -hmm. I've even, like, you know, done the searching of human flight and levitation <laughs> and just trying to believe in something more than what ge people generally believe in. I, superpowers is kind of a, a special topic for me because it's just, it's the thought that there's more to the world than what yeah. you believe there is or whatever yeah. and the implications of that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if I could choose one, it would be flight. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to fly. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you tell us something about you that would surprise people who think they know you? Um, maybe that... It, it, this isn't really something you want to admit to a lot of people, I guess. <laughs> This but, is great. This is gonna be good. <laughs> uh, I, I probably I have a lot more insecurities than what um, most people might assume that I do. Just because when you do something that's you know in the spotlight or whatever, whether it be music or acting or art or anything, where yeah. you're exposing yourself, like, and we do it a lot. So I think people just say, "Well, he's not," you know, or even like coming on this show, like I still get terribly nervous before I do anything. Really? <laughs> yeah, like no matter how many things I've done or you know it's mm -hmm. never been anything big like you know playing with a cover band or whatever stuff like that but I still would get nervous and I think that people probably assume that I'm a little bit more confident than what I am and I'm just, I think that that's one of the biggest things that plagues me too is yeah. letting <laughs> um, lack of confidence into my thoughts and stuff and mm -hmm. it, I think that that is probably the biggest setback that I have and I'm trying to so I don't know why I'm admitting to it on, a, on a, any kind of a public forum, but that was probably the most surprising yeah. thing to people. That would be surprising, yes. yeah, especially mm -hmm. with playing the creepy guy yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That or the fact that I can actually fly, that yeah. might surprise people too. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> but that would surprise people though. Yeah. yeah. So Troy, how do people get hold of you? Um, you can get a hold of me through... Uh, our email, which is resfxproductions at gmail.com, or you can find us on Facebook, um, Facebook slash, I don't really know the, the actual preface of it, but it's ResFX Productions. Mm -hmm. um, or you can email me at ridge581 at aol.com. And um, if you email me, if it's more about a, a musical thing, because I also do like music production and stuff too, and have a small studio that um, I don't do a lot of musical projects, but the stuff that I do I really mm -hmm. enjoy. I worked with uh, Marne August recently and we did a video for her. And mm -hmm. um, So yeah, if it's a musical kind of thing, it'd be Ridge581 at AOL.com would be the, mm -hmm. the place to go. Okay. So we would like to thank Troy for coming and joining thank us you. today. That's we would right. like to thank, thank you. you, the audience, for listening in. We are recording at uh, LaSalle Bed and Breakfast, mm -hmm. downtown Fort Wayne. Um, again, this is Monday Morning Jolt. Use it.